Opening arguments and the very first piece of evidence was presented today in the trial of the four men with, who charged with conspiring to kidnap Governor Whitmer. Two other men have already pled guilty. The remaining four are claiming that they were entrapped. Federal prosecutors believe that Adam Fox, Brandon Caserta, Barry Croft Jr. and Daniel Harris all conspired in a plot together. 13 on your side's Justin Bachman joins us live outside the courthouse. And Justin, what arguments are each side making? Hey, Val, the argument for the defense is that federal agents, government employees of the FBI, were the ones who created that plot and put it into the heads of the four men on trial. And for the federal prosecutors, well, their defense is that this plot did happen organically and would have happened if they had not intervened. So your First Amendment right ends where you reach an agreement with someone to commit a crime. In their opening arguments, attorneys for each man on trial said their clients never made a specific agreement to kidnap the governor, and the plan itself was planted by informants. With their first witness, an FBI special agent, federal prosecutors are trying to disprove that. For entrapment, the question is whether the defense can establish that the activities of the police officers went beyond just giving them the opportunity to commit the crime, but actually promoted the crime being committed by them. This case has a great deal of evidence for the prosecution to present. Facebook posts, messages, and videos centered on Adam Fox and Barry Croft Jr. this afternoon. You hear the men talking about Boogaloo, a second American civil war, and locking up politicians. In another video, Fox says that he and Croft Jr. share the same common goal. All of that detailing specific acts by these defendants. In addition, there are two co-defendants who pled guilty. You can express your frustration. You can express your disapproval. You can express your disagreement. But when you take the step to say you're going to do something criminal, then you've crossed the line. Another argument from the opening of the defense is that FBI informants weren't always trustworthy, only hitting record when something incriminating might have been said. Now, the opening argument from the prosecution is laying out more of what entrapment is, making sure the jury has a definite understanding of it. They also tried to explain that presenting opportunity does not mean entrapment happened. Now, that first witness is an FBI special agent and did lay out why this case is happening in the first place, why these men were investigated to begin with. Tomorrow, the attorneys for the defense will have a chance to cross-examine that witness from today, and more evidence will be presented along with one more witness starting at 8.30 tomorrow morning. To keep up with everything, we've got you covered at 13onyourside.com. From downtown Grand Rapids, I'm Justin Bachman, 13 on your side.